Hi friends, this is Billy, and welcome back to another Let's Play video on Minecraft Xbox 360 in the Fairy Tale Kingdom. I'm so excited that you have joined me today. It's going to be an awesome day full of greatness and wonder. I am joined today by my lovely pal Mew, who has been a good friend and a good companion to me throughout my first uh, number of videos here. So he's just gonna wander around behind us. We're not building anything up tall today, so no worries, no emotional panicked freakouts of him about to die from falling off a large, large ledge. Actually, when I got up there the other day, he actually was like down by the staircase, which was super awesome. So. Today we are going to do a couple of different things. You may notice that I have an obscene amount of diamonds and redstone and all that kind of stuff. I have been out in the mines again. Look at all my cobblestone. Exciting. But I also have 30 levels, which is pretty great. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a diamond sword. Very cool. And we're going to go out into the forest and we are going to enchant our diamond sword and see what kind of cool enchantments we can get. It's going to be an exciting day today. I've got a couple of things planned. I did not over plan this time. I have learned my lesson. No more extreme speed building. We're going to try and do this nice and simple. So we're going to take the diamond sword. That looks like a pretty good enchantment, but we'll try and see if we can get... Oh, that's just a small one. Ooh, look how long this one is. I bet you this has got a bunch of stuff. Let's see. Here we go. It's got smite and looting. That's not too bad. That is not too bad. So we're going to use up the rest of the iron sword that we have, and then we will start using our diamond sword. I think now we officially have enough diamonds that we can um, just begin to use diamond materials as, as they are for our weapons and that kind of stuff, because I don't think that we need to wait too long, and I'm need a little bit more food here to keep me going. Yeah, so I think we can start using diamond tools, which would be great. That will definitely improve our efficiency. So today we are going to be working on the courtyard and fountain for our for our castle guys we're finally going to start working on the inside of here we've got some lovely sheep in the background to keep us company hey guys how y'all doing everybody good everybody fuzzy Ah, oh, look they love us all right so we're gonna get started by building sort of a sort of a fountain i thought that that might be a nice focal like feature for us to work with so I did map things out just a little bit wanted to make sure that I didn't spend too much time kind of counting in this episode because frankly counting's not really not really all that interesting so we'll kind of mark out the area I've thought a little bit about how I want the fountain but mostly we're just gonna kind of we're gonna kind of build from our imaginations which I think is a really great way to build. So I'm going to get down here and I'm going to chop away a bunch of this dirt. Ah, uh, yes. I think this will be just great. I am pretty excited about this build today, mostly because it means that we are actually like officially, officially like starting on the castle. Castle proper, not just castle walls. And I think that that will be super great. So Mew, you need to be careful because I am swinging wildly <laughs> trying to get rid of all of this dirt. You know, it has been a pretty exciting adventure. Um, the last couple of weeks posting these videos. I have to say guys, to the people who do watch these on a, on a regular basis, I'm, I'm really excited and, and just pumped by what's been going on. I know that not a ton of people, watch out Mew, watch these videos, but for the people who do, I think that you're enjoying them. I know that I'm having just a blast making them and I get so, so pumped when I think about all of the cool stuff that we are hopefully going to be able to build together in the future. 
last I checked, I actually had 13 subscribers, which, you know, for people who have been around YouTube for a long time, they might think that maybe that's not very many, but for me, that just shows me that people are interested in what I'm doing. They're interested in coming along in this journey, and I think that that is so cool. So I am still hoping to add in some Minecraft helpers in the future, uh, but it just hasn't worked out so far, and that's okay. I'm, I'm pretty okay with that. Most of the building that I've had to do has not been like the super fun stuff that I'm really excited for. So I'm cool. I'm cool just waiting to sort of see how this how this grows and develops over time and um, yeah, just being excited about about building and about making videos and that kind of stuff. So today, oh sorry, I didn't make you to mean to make you sit down. So today we're just gonna kind of get started with this fountain and hopefully that will that will kind of make a cool video so i think that this is is this is this the proper amount that i wanted i think so i think that this will look kind of cool i don't think it actually probably needs to be this big i think maybe we can make it one level smaller oh my goodness i'm already running out of stone brick oh no I did, I did smelt some, but now I'm thinking maybe I, I should go and smelt some more, potentially. Mew, get out of my way. Yeah, maybe I need to go and get some more because it's looking like we might, we might not have enough to actually make it all the way. Let's take a look. I think that that's a pretty, pretty decent size for the fountain. Um, I'm wondering if it shouldn't, how many are we? One, two, three, four, five, six. On this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on this side. Okay, so I think that that's pretty good. I'm gonna get some stone and, um, and smelt it in the fire because, or in the furnace, I should say, in the fire. Yeah, because I just think that we might not have quite enough. So I'll just get some of this going and then if we do by chance need it later, at least we'll have it and that'll be great. One, two, three, four, perfect. So for those of you who don't know, coal um, will smelt only eight blocks, one piece of coal for eight blocks. So it is really, um, good stuff like I, I like smelting with coal it's great uh, but I do often try and like count out the actual proper proper measurements because I think it I think it looks better when you do that so our fountain doesn't need to be very very deep I think that it's gonna be fine kind of at this layer oh yeah and we're definitely gonna run out my goodness yeah I think it'll look probably pretty good kind of as is you are so gonna be in my way buddy aren't you I can already tell and oh I can see it kind of getting a little bit shadowy which is slightly nerve-wracking so I'm gonna did you guys just see that piece of dirt like float up and then float back so I'm just gonna I'm gonna finish digging out sort of this area and then I am gonna hop up I'm digging way too far and way too deep and then I'm gonna jump up and we're gonna try and go to sleep before any of the bad guys come out because the last couple videos we have had some pretty bad luck with bad guys they've kind of oh my gosh oh Mew are you okay are you okay buddy I'm sorry I didn't mean to hurt you but we got to get out of here my friend so uh jumping up here I will feed you some steak in the morning I'm so sorry boy that wasn't very nice I had a feeling he might get in my way. Whoops. Okay, so we go to sleep. We can see a chicken. Why did the chicken cross the field? Because that's chickens just wander around in my world and that's pretty fun. Okay, let's see if we can get any more smooth stone. So we got a little bit from this one and we'll get a little bit from this one and we'll turn it into um, stone bricks which are great, uh, stone bricks are awesome because when you have smooth stone and you break it, uh, it turns it turns back into cobblestone. But if you take that smooth stone and you make stone bricks with it, then uh, then even when you break it, it still it still is um, what you need it to be. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try and fix some of these like little holes, extra holes that I made. It's okay for the corners not to be, um, 
not to be all the way dug in because no one's gonna see those anyways but we will fill this in and I think that that'll look pretty good and then obviously <laughs> Mew buddy you're I mean I don't want to be rude and stuff but you're like super in the way today and I don't really like it yeah, so we'll just fill this in, which will look good. And then we need to do the bottom as well because you can see through at least a little bit in the water. It's not, it's not a ton. Oh, and then I lost my shovel and I don't have any more. So I'm just gonna quickly place a block of dirt and jump up and out. And I'm gonna go make a diamond shovel because why not, my friends? I have tons and tons of diamonds. Thankfully, very luckily, I got this looting, uh, or what is it, fortune pickaxe, and it's been awesome, guys. <laughs> like, I mean, I, I mean, I, yeah, I like mm, mm, words, 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 <laughs> words can't even describe how super cool it's been to have that thing. Like, every time I, like, knock a diamond block, I get, like, almost always at least at least two from it, which is amazing, and then I don't have to... I just don't even have to like worry about stuff and oh I didn't feed you any steak sorry pal do you want something to eat do you want some food yeah yeah I kind of hit you a little bit before so try and stay out of my way pal because I am a shoveling machine here yeah that's right we're gonna make this look awesome oh I can hear a zombie obviously in the cave below me but we're gonna ignore the zombie cries because we are focused today we are focused, and focus is great. And Mew, I'm gonna need you to move, pal. I'm gonna need you, I'm gonna need you to move because I don't wanna hit you. Ah, oh, no, should've known, should've known that was gonna happen. Okay, I'm gonna make you sit down even though you're in a little bit of an inconvenient spot. But realistically, we're gonna run out of stone bricks before I get all the way over to that side, so. Uh, and that's okay. Look, we're gonna get this much done, and then I can go and see if there's some more. I do have, I guess I do have like a couple of these like half slabs. I could, cause like once you place them double, yeah, that looks that looks normal. You can't quite tell that they're like separate anymore, so that's good. So we'll just use up what we got, and then I will go and get some more we also need to make an unlimited water source so i think that that's oh that's not bad at all good job all right we need to make an unlimited water source um and we're gonna fill up this pool with some water and you know what actually i need to make a whole layer of dirt which is silly but needs to happen oh look awesome look at this this is perfect all right, so we'll take that down. We'll go in here. We'll make a bunch of these. Perfect. And was there something else I needed? Oh, I need to make a few more, at least a few more buckets. Let's see here. We'll grab some of this and go one, two, three. And oh, I grabbed four and that's fine. We'll just make do. So I need to make a bucket. And then I need to run over to the water over here. Luckily, we've got a pretty good source of water pretty close by, but not close enough. Never, ever close enough. So we're gonna make a little unlimited water source and fill up our space here. So first things first, we gotta fill in those bottom four that um, <laughs> our lovely little Mew is. Oh no, oh no, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to... I meant to make you stand up. Can you stand up please, pal? Do you wanna follow me? Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on over here. You're gonna come sit over to the side because I don't want you drowning or anything like that. So then we're gonna take, we don't need that right now. We are gonna need some of that and that can go up and this can come back down and we fill this in. So that's pretty great. Oh no, there we go. And let's see, we'll chop that. And then actually what we need to do is, in case you don't know how to um, sort of build water so that it's all flat, it needs to only be one deep. In order to fall into water, you need it to be too deep. And often when you're trying to make things look realistic, I mean, honestly, like you, you want it to be pretty deep. But if you want it to have sort of that flat, calm look, easiest way to do that 
um, is by making sure that your pool is only one deep. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try and shovel out. Can I do that? Oh, perfect. We're gonna shovel out a little area here and you just need it to be a little two by two square. And that's basically all it needs to be. And then you can actually take your water and you put one in one corner and you put the other in the other corner and it flattens out. Um, so then you're able to take unlimitedly, which is awesome. Maybe, did I do that wrong? Oh, I must have. Why isn't that working? It always works. Did that, did I not? Here? Oh, there we go. I must have just done it wrong. That's weird. All right, so then what you wanna do is you just wanna place the water kinda all over the place and um, wait for it to be smooth, like how this is smooth here. So it shouldn't take too long or too many buckets, hopefully. So just put that there and one more here. And that's already partially smoothed out. We'll grab some more and we'll just place these in here. I am thinking that this is gonna look pretty darn cool. It's pretty awesome. So let's put one here and another one on this side, this side here. All right, hopefully it won't take too many more. Usually once you've done at least a couple, it'll, it'll start smoothing itself out, um, which is pretty nice, so grab a couple more oh look see this side has already like smoothed itself which looks really awesome and we'll just throw one in there and it's perfect just the way that it is and then to clear up this uh, unlimited water source all you have to do is oh actually I shouldn't do that because we're gonna want some some stuff to sort of like flow down so now all we need to do is clear out the dirt and it will magically be too deep which I think will look really good It'll be like a nice, it's not a very deep fountain, but I think it'll look pretty awesome. So I'm just gonna clear away all this dirt and hopefully not drown. Whoop, gotta get some breath in there. It's a little dangerous down here. So we'll just keep shoveling this all out. And yeah, and then we'll make a design kind of for the middle of our fountain. I don't really have a particular thought. I do know that we won't have, ooh, ooh, I'm drowning a little. Um, I know that we won't have like an exact middle um, just because of the way that the, the gates and stuff were built. So I knew that we were gonna have sort of at least a two by two sort of thing. Um, but yeah, we'll have to kind of take a look at it. We might try something here and then if I really don't like it, I might just try and switch and do something different off camera. So these two are the middle. So we'll maybe place them like that, I think. That's the exact middle on the bottom. And then here, it's these two. So we'll go like this. So at least we know that this is sort of our, our middle portion of it. We'll, we'll maybe build that all the way up to the top of the water. And then I was thinking from here, maybe, it could be like up a little bit, but then also out to the side, does that make sense? Could it be like this, maybe? Um, and then on the other side, sort of do like the same thing, but going a different direction. So out here and out here, maybe? And then these parts, I was thinking, we could just kind of build up like here. Um, so they would sort of flow down. So it's kind of like a weird little like abstract shape, but I think it could look kind of cool. I need to stop crouching. And I also need some food and I don't have any on me right now. And are we seriously getting to the second night? Oh my goodness, that means it's like almost time for the episode to be over. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly put some water here. I'm gonna build up my dirt a little bit so that I can pour some water on this bottom piece like that. Shovel this down. And maybe really quick, we'll just go to bed and then we'll wake up in the morning and we'll be ready to fill out the rest of our water. There isn't really that much left to do. So we'll just take a quick sleep make sure that we don't get trampled by any bad guys because like I said we have been having some troubles our last few videos so I definitely don't want to 
don't want to be sleeping outside anymore. I'm all done. I'm all done with sleeping outside. It's it's lost its it's lost its its charm. <laughs> camping, I'm done with camping. I'm I'm ready for some good old-fashioned indoor fun. So I will put that one there. And then I gotta fill up my water buckets. And luckily I did leave this unlimited water source. It's good that I thought I had a little bit. And then these ones are gonna be like I'm gonna grab this and pile up here and put, can I put that right up there? Awesome. And we'll shovel down because that one was actually a little bit taller. Uh, make sure to shovel out these dirt piles. And yeah, and then I think we just need one more up here. I don't, guys, I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I'm already like doubting myself. I'm like, oh, I don't know. Does that look weird? I think it looks weird. Maybe it would look better if it was all like kind of symmetrical. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, look, there's like one weird piece that's like missing. Is it missing on the other side too? Oh, that's really strange. I wonder why, why that happened. Shouldn't it? Shouldn't the water be like flowing down over this block? Let's grab another water bucket then maybe and just sort of place it. Oh, I'm gonna need to pile up again. And, oh, aw, grab it, place it. Okay, um, um, okay. Well, it was an attempt. It was, it was an abstract art attempt. I think it, might deserve another attempt though. Ooh, yeah. Okay, well, you know, we, we put our best effort in, we did what we could in a video, and I think it looks okay. <laughs> I'll probably try and fix it a little bit in the next video, but I think we've reached our end, so if you did like this video and think it was awesome, even though we built this weird, awkward looking fountain, please do like and comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. And yeah, I will see you back here um, on Monday for more fairy tale adventures in our uh, fairy tale kingdom. So bye guys.